Now, before arriving to, before moving on to our realization, first of all, core, four part realization, and then with melodies and counterpoint, let's read this with sonization and solfeggio. Let's read this bass using sonization and solfeggio. So, uh, let's <coughs> say that when we have a diatonic, a diatonic, uh, sorry, a chromatic movement in the bass, let's sing the diatonic name. Thinking the chromatic is fa anyway. So what do you mean? I mean this because this partimento starts with a lamento bass. The real, the diatonic name of these notes are la, sol, fa, mi. So la. And, but if we, th because we have the chromaticism, it's like if this A takes the function of Fa, and this sharp takes the function of Mi. Now, Mi and Fa, when we have a Mi and a Fa on the same letter, on the same corda, is the technical name in the ancient way, mm. and we have the diesis or uh, followed by in this case uh, in this case is a natural C but it works like a flat so it lowers the pitch by a semitone mi becomes fa then we have the diatonic movement mi fa mi so we have the diatonic structure like a zoom from from far <laughs> If we were more in depth, okay, with like a, a, a microscope, so we have. If we look closely, if we look in, I can I say a little bit more far, so. And then this me becomes la because. When, we, when the nature of the chant is B hard, so we don't have any kind of alteration in the key, this Mi, so the E descending, is La. So, La, Sol, Fa, Re, Sol, La, Re. This is the, these are the correct names. Hot hexachord. La, Fa, Sol, La. For that, the minor cadence when we have four, five, one is always sol la re. Perfect. And now you swap to the hard hexachord. Exactly. Yeah. So we have. Yes. Now we have to make a precision. What's the difference between the Renaissance solmization and the modern solfeggio? Actually, it doesn't exist because I can sing every single note, okay, thinking each syllable. For example, mi la. This becomes la because it's descending. We said la sol fa re sol la re. Now, because here we have diminutions in the baroque solfeggio, especially when you have a long melisms uh, and, and uh, virtuosic vocal passages, they used to sing only the structural notes. So, like la, la, fa, sol, la, re. Yes, in this case, because this bass is really, so it is not an allegro bass, of course, it's more like an adagio bass. We can take the weight of each single note, singing la sol fa re sol la re. But the passage between solmization and solfeggio, it's only that in so in modern in not in modern solfeggio in uh, baroque solfeggio you consider only the structural notes, but the rules are exactly the same. Sol la re. Now let's continue. This is a modulating printer, so we are shifting a fifth up. And we have the semitone in this point. So, 
If this is la sol fa mi mi without the with the natural F with the F sharp it becomes sol fa mi la re because it's another minor cadence as and as I said before the minor cadence in solfeggio is always sol la re when it is four five one so we have in this case mi la re sol sol because it's the fourth of E minor sol fa mi la re this way what hexachord are you in right now? Now we have to think all the hexachords transposed up of uh, a fifth because we are modulating. This is something that in Renaissance, in Renaissance summarization, <coughs> we don't have because in Renaissance music we don't have these modulations. Okay, it, it, they are not modulations in, in a, or in early counterpoint are another things in Renaissance counterpoint. Mm. In Baroque solfeggio, we have to shift mutations places. In this case, mutations places from D, E, and A, because we are moving a fifth up, they become a fifth up. So the general rules say that when the nature of the chant is behind, we have three mutation places, D, E, and A. And we do mutation on D ascending, on E descending, and on A ascending or descending. When I transpose, okay, the, oh, let's recap the most important aspect. When I ascend, I sing Re, and when I descend, I sing La, always. This is the basic rule. When, when I transpose the key a fifth up, I have to transpose these mutation places a fifth up. The second part of the rule doesn't change. I talk really, uh, deeply about this in <coughs> the summarization course from your Ethne Fais Tota Musica with a lot of exercises. And in this case, what is the note we have, the letter we have, a fifth up the D? What's a fifth? Wait, did you, uh, were you asking me? Yeah, tell me. Okay. What do we have up a fifth than the D? Uh, well, an A. Exactly, A. And what we have a fifth up the E? Uh, well, a B, B or age B exactly, and what we have a fifth half a, a A. Uh, well, a B again. No, what what did you say? A fifth half the A. Oh, E, yeah, E. Exactly, E. So we now modulation places are like A ascending, E descending, and sorry, B descending. And E ascending and descending. When I go up, I sing Re, and when I go down, I sing La. As we can see, we have like a B in this point, as you can see, we can imagine as La. And in fact, we have We have here an E, and E ascending is Re. So, in, in Renaissance music, Renaissance summarization, this is simple because we don't have so many modulations. When, for that, if you want to learn solfeggio, it's better if you start with summarization. So you practice in an environment without 500 fine and, uh, modulations. We only have one nature of, this, of the chant. And when you move to modern solfeggio, you have to think or changing mutation places or thinking where is the semitone and you learn it only by practicing. So because now the same, we have a semitone here between G and F sharp, it can only be We can also, also think this A has a fifth down, thinking for example in soprano class. Starting this way with D, and this is exactly what we had before. So it's a game of transposition, as you can see. Or we transpose mutation places, or we transpose the clef, changing so the, the key signature, or otherwise we find some patterns practicing 
uh, we become really good in individuating where is the new semitone. I know that is not a so simple topic to talk about in 10 minutes. Yeah. Exactly. But this, these are the possibilities we have. Anyway, we have Sol, Fa, Mi, La, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Re. Sorry, La, Mi, La, because Mi, Fa, Sol. And another time we arrive to the lamento bass with la. La, mi, la, sol, fa, mi. Then we said that B descending is la. So la, la, sol, fa, mi, fa, re, sol, la, re. Then we have la. Because E descending too is La when we have the blue arrow. I use two colors here and in the song session course because this way you have clear when you go up and when you, when you go down. Here we have another E down. So La, La, Sol, Fa. It would be without any kind of alterations. Because we have these yeah. charts, we can, see, <clears throat> we can think Mi because has an accident, okay, accidental no. So, La, la, sol, mi, or la, la, sol, fa. If you think me, because you have a new semitone, or if you say, uh, of if you only so if you say me because we have a semitone, of if, or if you only think me, remember that this is diatonically a fa, chromatically because of the sharp a mi. So in this case, you can sing me or fa. Uh, mm, we can say that baroque sources are more common about saying the diatonic note in this case because there is not any modulation it's only a little passage so la, la, sol, fa, sol, sol, fa, mi. this is more coherent but if but in any case you have to think this note has a me in order to um, to correctly th uh, think and then sing the same note so la, la, sol, fa, sol, sol, fa. yes la, la, sol, fa. And then we get to fa. So fa, fa, sol, do. Okay. Fa. If you want to read the solmization, all the single notes. Fa, sol, mi. Do. We are we are now in C major. Fa, sol, do. And we get to do. Then the same thing at the contrary. Do, 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 do. Singing mi because of the sharp. Yeah. Do, do. So we can do this. Do, 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 do. Re, 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 re. Thinking mi. Then mi, 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 because of the sharp. Mi. And then we have mi, 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 la. Here it's clear that the main notes are mi and la. So if we sing every single note, mi, fa, sol, mi, la, because we think that these notes as chromatically so, because they are only, they belong to the ascending melodic scale, we think them, uh, we say them as the, 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 the diatonic name. It would be strange to say mi, re, mi, mi, la. You can think this way because it's correct. You have re, mi, fa. But it becomes really more, it becomes really complex. So, in this case, think mi, fa, sol, mi, la, singing them with the sharp. So, mi, fa, mi, la. That, and this la becomes re, so re, mi, fa, la, mi, fa, sol, mi, la. Because here now we are in A minor, so without any alteration in the key, any accidental sentence in the key. So we come back to this rule, and the A ascending, as we can see, is re, and A descending is la. So Re, mi, fa, because it's going on, it's going up. Re, mi, fa, and la, because it's going down. La, mi, fa, sol, mi, la. And then we have what we had at the, be the beginning. So, la, 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 sol, fa, la, sol, fa, re, sol. This way, 
we have D ascending. So D becomes Re this time. La, la, sol, fa, re, re, mi, la, re, mi, la. This is how ancient musicians used to read music with the solfeggio, so based on a system with the hexachord, where we have ut or do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, without the um, C. The C doesn't exist. So the, <laughs> in Italian we will say the C, no, because the C is uh, both the note that, that yes. <laughs> so it, it's a game, it's oh, a game yeah. of uh, words. Uh, C means uh, exactly yes, so C, no. <laughs> no, the C. The C, the no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, all, all, all this rule, I, I know that can seem strange. If, because when you approach this system, it becomes really, really the, the most important, the, the most important difficult is to pass from our modern thinking to how they used to think. This is the main aspect. The, that we, we, we must do to change the mindset of thinking music. And this is these are all the passages I talk about in Famia Cmify Sota Musica for this reason, because you, you need to change your mindset step by step, changing one step at a time. So, and this was the solfeggio reading of this partimento bass. Una nota super la sempre rest canendum fa. But this note is a fa. If you are a great lover of Renaissance and Baroque music, you must know that the old masters read and wrote music in a very different way than what we do today. This system is called psalmization, and learning it directly from Renaissance sources can be a difficult and an arduous task. But if you want to learn it today, there is a way that I've created that combines the ancient method with the modern technology. This method is called Fa mi et mi fa es tota musica. Go to this link and find out more.